process greatly enhances Tai Chi development, leading to a more balanced mental state. At the same time fitness, agility and balance will improve. Before going forward hit subscribe button and press bell icon for notification of every upcoming video. The uniqueness of Tai Chi is that it is internal. Internal means building the inner strength from inside out, therefore you can continue to develop at any age. Numerous studies have shown Tai Chi improves muscular strength, flexibility, fitness, improves immunity, relieves pain and improves quality of life. Muscle strength is important for supporting and protecting joints and is essential for normal physical function. Flexibility exercises enable people to move more easily, and facilitate circulation of body fluid and blood, which enhance healing. Fitness is important for overall functioning of the heart, lungs, and muscles. In addition to these components, Tai Chi movements emphasize weight transference to improve balance and prevent falls. Yoga. Yoga is a 5,000-year-old Indian body of knowledge which involves spiritual and physical practices designed to increase self-awareness. It harmonizes the body with the mind and breathing through various breathing exercises, yoga poses, asana, meditation, sounds and visualizations. There are many different types of yoga, such as hatha, moving through postures to create balance. Bikram, done in a hot room, and Iyengar, using blocks and straps to support yoga moves. Many studies suggest that yoga can be helpful in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety. Reflexology. Reflexology is a type of massage that involves applying different amounts of pressure to the feet, hands, and ears. It's based on the theory that these body parts are connected to various organs and body systems through the nervous system. Applying pressure to these areas offers a range of health benefits such as relieving stress and anxiety, improving mood, improving sleep, reducing pain, relieve back problems, helping with peripheral neuropathy and to ease arthritis pain. Reflexology uses the ancient Chinese belief that qi flows through each person. When a person feels stressed, their body blocks the flow of qi. This causes an imbalance in the body that leads to illness. Reflexology aims to keep qi flowing through the body, thus keeping it balanced and disease-free. In Chinese medicine, different body parts correspond with different pressure points on the body. Reflexologists use maps of these points in the feet, hands, and ears to determine where they should apply pressure. They believe their touch sends energy flowing through a person's body until it reaches the area in need of healing. 3. Diet and Herbs over the centuries man has gone from a simple diet consisting of meats, fruits, vegetables and grains to a diet that often consists of foods rich in fats, oils and complex carbohydrates. Nutritional excess and deficiency have become problems in today's society leading to certain chronic diseases. Many dietary and herbal approaches attempt to balance the body's nutritional well-being. Dietary and herbal approaches may include nutrition, diet, dietary supplements and western herbal medicine. Dietary supplements. A wide selection of dietary supplements is available. We will look at each one in depth in future videos. Western herbal medicine. These can be used to treat health problems in a similar manner to prescription medications, but the herbal practitioner will usually take a holistic rather than an illness-focused approach. Western herbal medicine uses plants and plant material to create medicines to help prevent or treat various illnesses. These materials may use some or all parts of a plant, such as flowers, roots, fruits, leaves and bark. Traditional Western herbal medicine evolved mainly from the ancient Greeks, who were strongly influenced by Egyptian and Middle Eastern civilizations. Well-known historical physicians, including Hippocrates and Galen, used herbal medicine in their practices. 
The use of various herbal formulas is one of the oldest and possibly most widespread form of medicine. 4. External energy. Some people believe external energies from objects or other sources directly affect a person's health. Examples of external energy therapy include electromagnetic therapy, Reiki and Qigong. Electromagnetic therapy. Electromagnetic therapy is based on the belief that an imbalance of the electromagnetic frequencies or fields of energy can cause illness. Electromagnetic therapy is applied to the body to correct these imbalances. There are various electrical devices available to treat a variety of symptoms. Qigong. Qigong, or Qigong, is the practice of controlling the flow of qi through the body by using breathing techniques and sometimes movements. Qigong opens the flow of energy in meridians used in acupuncture and Chinese medicine. It is a mind, body, spirit practice that improves one's mental and physical health by by integrating posture, movement, breathing technique, self-massage, sound and focused intent. Physically, slow gentle qigong movements warm tendons, ligaments, and muscles, tone vital organs and connective tissue, and promote circulation of body fluids blood, synovial, lymph. Thousands of studies have shown qigong effective in helping to heal conditions ranging from high blood pressure and chronic illness to emotional frustration, mental stress, and spiritual crisis. Reiki Reiki is a Japanese technique for stress reduction and relaxation that also promotes healing. It is administered by, laying on hands, on different areas of the body, including the head, shoulders, stomach and feet, and is based on the idea that an unseen, life force energy, flows through us and is what causes us to be alive. If one's, life force energy, is low, then we are more likely to get sick or feel stress, and if it is high, we are more capable of being happy and healthy. A Reiki treatment aims to restore life force energy to help you to heal and stay well. Some people find it makes them feel more relaxed and less stressed. Reiki treats the whole person including body, emotions, mind and spirit creating many beneficial effects that include relaxation and feelings of peace, security and well-being. Many have reported miraculous results. Reiki is a simple, natural and safe method of spiritual healing and self-improvement that everyone can use. It has been effective in helping virtually every known illness and condition and always creates a beneficial effect. It also works in conjunction with all other medical or therapeutic techniques to relieve side effects and promote recovery. 5. Mind. Conventional medicine recognizes the power of the connection between mind and body. Studies have found that people heal better if they have good emotional and mental health. Therapies using the mind include meditation, biofeedback, hypnosis and mindfulness. Meditation. Meditation has been practiced for thousands of years in numerous religious traditions, often as part of the path towards enlightenment and self-realization. It is a practice where an individual uses a technique, such as mindfulness, or focusing the mind on a particular object, thought, or activity to train an awareness, and achieve a mentally clear and emotionally calm and stable state. It aims to quieten your mind and put you into a state of calm, stillness and rest. Meditation may be used to reduce stress, anxiety, depression, and pain, and increase peace, perception, self-concept, and well-being. Biofeedback. Biofeedback is a mind-body technique that involves using visual or auditory feedback to gain control over involuntary bodily functions. This may include gaining voluntary control over heart rate, muscle tension, blood flow, pain perception and blood pressure. This process involves being connected to a device with sensors that provides feedback about specific aspects of your body. The goal of biofeedback is to make subtle changes to the body that result in a desired effect. This might include relaxing certain muscles, slowing heart rate or respiration, or reducing feelings of pain. By doing this, people are often able to improve their physical, emotional, and mental health. Biofeedback can also be used to help people better manage the symptoms of a condition. Hypnotherapy 
Hypnosis involves putting you in a state of deep relaxation to access subconscious beliefs, thoughts and memories which may affect the way you act. Hypnotherapists use hypnosis to help you change unwanted thoughts and behaviors by using suggestion and increasing your self-awareness. You're always in full control under hypnosis, and your therapist will only use methods that you've agreed to and feel comfortable with. Many people find it a useful way of treating things like depression, anxiety, phobias, stress, anger, addictions and low self-esteem. Hypnotherapy might not be suitable if you have a diagnosis of personality disorder. Mindfulness. Mindfulness involves focusing your attention to what's happening in the present moment. It aims to help you become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, so you can choose how to react to them calmly. Many people find mindfulness helpful for managing negative thoughts and feelings of stress. While mindfulness is something we all naturally possess, it's more readily available to us when we practice on a daily basis. When you bring awareness to what you're directly experiencing via your senses, or to your state of mind via your thoughts and emotions, you're being mindful. And there's growing research showing that when you train your brain to be mindful, you're actually remodeling the physical structure of your brain. 6. Senses. Some people believe the senses, touch, sight, hearing, smell and taste can affect overall health. Examples of therapies incorporating the senses include art, dance and music, aromatherapy and visualization and guided imagery. Aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is the practice of using the natural oils extracted from flowers, bark, stems, leaves, roots or other parts of a plant to enhance psychological and physical well-being. The inhaled aroma from these, essential, oils is widely believed to stimulate brain function. Essential oils can also be absorbed through the skin, where they travel through the bloodstream and can promote whole body healing. It is used for a variety of applications such as pain relief, mood enhancement and increased cognitive function. There are a wide number of essential oils available, each with its own healing properties. Visualization and guided imagery. Guided imagery and visualization are techniques used to help you imagine yourself being in a particular state. Recordings are designed to help you visualize yourself relaxing or engaging in positive changes or actions. These exercises can help you reduce anxiety, improve self-confidence, or cope more effectively with difficult situations. As can be seen, there is a wide variety of complementary and alternative therapies available. It is a matter of finding what works for you. Integrative healthcare often brings conventional and complementary approaches together in a coordinated way. It emphasizes a holistic, patient-focused approach to healthcare and wellness. Often including mental, emotional, functional, spiritual, social, and community aspects, and treating the whole person rather than, for example, one organ system. It aims for well-coordinated care between different providers and institutions. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment, and join us for our next video. Thank you.